You are watching the daily dose of the latest news and happenings. This is Daily News. I am Virgil Mayo Bantayan. I am Jana Joy Roldan. Good, Good morning, morning to all our viewers, viewers all over all the Philippines, over the Philippines and, to and to those who listen us abroad via live, live stream or TFC. Good morning, partner. Saying to you, partner. This is our headlines for today. A student was bullied due to his accent and language. Dorso initiate a tree planting activity to help save Mother Earth. Philippines took the title as champion in the Global Science Exhibit. Tertiary Education Secretary Shailene Villahermosa announced the celebration of National Cultural Week. A Mandaya student was extremely bullied in his school due to his accent and language. Here's Janine Bronzola for the report. A Mandaya student here at Kasing Kasing National High School was bullied due to his accent and language. The reported case happened in April 18, 2022 at around 9 a.m. in the morning when the teacher coughed the three grade 11 students are laughing and bullying the said students. Hi classmates, good morning, good morning ma'am. Ako si Mary Joy Ration Saigan. Um, tapos ako ng senior high sa San Luis National High School. Then, nyaguya ako sa Caraga da Oriental. Gusto pa ka mo makila, maklose, and all para, para malayawin ka na ako magkain. Salamat, classmates. Hi, this is me. Hi. Hi. I'm sorry, wala na ako natuloy. <laughs> I was about to go to my classroom that time when I saw them bullying the new students. And when I got to the scene, the girl was very afraid of the four students. So I brought them in the principal's office for the immediate action. The case was immediately given action and the three students was given suspension for the whole week and is said to be expelled if the case will happen again. After the incident, the school was back to normal and the said student was happy with the action by the school. This is Janine Brunzuela, your daily dose of daily news. Dorso initiated a tree planting activity as an answer to the continuous problem caused by global warming. Here's Juriza Maongat for the report. A week-long tree planting activity was conducted by Dabo Oriental State University headed by the agriculture students of the said university. This was the answer to the continuous damage caused by the global warming. We are aware that the world continuously taking damage from the global warming. This has been a rise of global temperature which, which affects the various life forms and species including humans. That the earth has three years more to live, or else we will suffer the consequences. And we believe that these actions, even if, it's, if it is small, um, it is also, uh, it will make differences if combined. We, we are also aiming to help preserve his, our, our cultural heritage, uh, not only for humans, but also in different spaces, in order for our next generation still enjoy the beauty of Mother Nature. They also said that they intend to preserve nature for the next generation to come. Truly, a single action is just a small proportion of everything. But if it is all combined, it'll make a huge difference. This is Jeriza Alfaro Maongat, your daily dose of daily news. We'll be back after a short break. Di makatulog kahit matas na oras dahil sa karamdaman sa sakit sa ulo. Mabuti na lang may meye na magbibigay ng lamig ng utak upang mapanatili ang maagang pagtulog. Kaya bumili na ng meye o di kaya tumawag sa cell number 0938 para sa dagdag kalaman sa meye. Pentos? Anong gagawin ko? 
girl. Pimples ba ang problema mo? Alam ko ang solusyon dyan. Gumamit ka lang ng produkto na to, Skin Perfection pang patanggal ng pimples, mapawala ng dark spots at wrinkles. At hinggit sa lahat, puputi ka pa. Kaya gumamit ka na. 230 pesos lang. Sulit. Philippines took home the title as the champion of the Global Science Exhibit held in Tokyo, Japan after winning against 74 other delegates. Here's Marjorie Maibano for the report. The Filipino students of 10 different universities brought home the crown after winning against 74 delegate nations on the Global Science Exhibit held at Tokyo, Japan. The students are very proud of the achievement they have brought to the nation. The Filipino delegates was immediately congratulated by the President of the Republic of the Philippines making them even proud. The delegates are expected to go home this week and will be immediately give a homecoming ceremony and will lead back to their hometown right after as their corresponding universities are rooting for their return. This is Marjorie Mibano, your daily dose of the news. Tertiary Education Secretary Charlene Villahermosa announced the celebration of Natural Cultural Week. The Tertiary Education Secretary Charlene Villahermosa announced the celebration of National Cultural Week to commemorate and appreciate the different culture of students. On this week, students are encouraged to showcase the beauty of their culture. The university has created a bunch of programs and activities, including the display of different costumes and accessories of different cultures, in order to be appreciated and given attention. Cultures are a big part of our character development and it deserves to be given attention to us as we intend to make everyday universities and colleges a fair and culture-friendly environment. I believe that this will raise their awareness and appreciation on various culture diversity and create respect for the people of different culture. The activities are starting this May 2 and will be ending with a culmination ceremony. This is Angelica Behenting, your daily dose of daily news. And that was today's latest news and happenings. Until next time, this is your daily dose of daily news.